getting blood flow up to our brains is critical and the arteries called the carotid arteries in our neck are largely responsible for making this happen. Now blockages in these arteries, they can occur from plaques from arteriosclerosis just like in any other artery in our body. Now about 20% of the population between the ages of 30 and 80 are at risk for having this. Now as people get older, the prevalence of having these plaques will increase. Now other problems like uh, smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure can also increase the risk of developing these plaques. Developing these plaques in the carotid arteries can lead to problems such as stroke or cognitive impairment. In this video, I demonstrate the scientific evidence that demonstrates how exercise can reduce these risks. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. Studies show that exercise can significantly reduce the risk of developing a carotid artery plaque. For example, there was a meta-analysis of 34 studies that looked at over 2,000 patients, and they measured the thickness of the carotid artery wall. The thickness of an arterial wall is used as an indicator if there is arteriosclerosis. You can imagine as if there are plaques, the thickness of that arterial wall gets bigger. And this meta-analysis study found that those patients who exercise have significantly reduced thickness of the arterial wall, indicating that they have a less risk of plaques and arteriosclerosis in these arteries. So what kind of exercise will help reduce the risk of developing these carotid plaques? And so again, this meta-analysis, it found that aerobic exercise, which could either be continuous moderate intensity exercise, such as taking a brisk walk at a steady pace, or high intensity interval training, where you'll have intervals of high intensity and intervals of lower intensity. Both of those were effective in reducing this risk. Now there's another meta-analysis that found that in addition, resistance exercise is also effective in reducing this risk, but uh, aerobic exercise seems to work better. So how long do you have to exercise before you're gonna get these benefits of reducing the risk of having a thicker arterial wall? And so there was a meta-analysis over a thousand patients, and they found that those patients who were exercising for more than six months had significantly lower uh, thickness of their arterial wall compared to those people who exercise for less than six months. The next logical question to ask is, does reducing the thickness of the carotid wall, meaning reducing the risk of arteriosclerosis in these carotid arteries lead to increased blood flow to the brain? And the short answer is yes. So there was a study of both men and women between the ages of 55 and 80 who were randomized to either a 12 month program of moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise, or the other group was just doing some stretching. And exercise was performed three times a week for about 30 minutes uh, at about 75 to 80% of maximum heart rate. And then in the second half of that same year, they increased exercise to four or five days per week. And what they found was that compared to the people who were just doing stretching, if you were doing aerobic exercise, they were found to have significantly increased their cerebral blood flow. So that means increase the blood flow to their brain. Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, Exercising can reduce the thickness of the carotid arteries, which is an indicator of reducing the risk of arteriosclerotic plaques and blockages in these arteries. Number two, aerobic exercise seems to give the best results for gaining these benefits. Number three, it's important to remain consistent with exercise because it can take at least six months of doing exercise to appreciate these benefits. And number four, exercise is very important here because the alternative treatment for carotid artery blockages are much more invasive, either surgical or significant medication. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.